guys, I want to share my sunglass collection with you today. Before I jump in though, I want to show you a fun little setup that I just did in my closet. This is kind of like my makeshift little girly room. I have all my jewels and accessories behind me, but I bought two of these little Amazon shelves made for sunnies. I've also seen people use them for your Disney. There you can see there's one and there's one and they work perfect for sunglasses. If you have a spot in your home or your closet, you can stack them. You actually get three in a pack. I'll link them in the description box, but I love this because it displays them and then it reminds me of the ones that I have and I actually want to reach for. Before that, I had them in this drawer here. This is like my little pullouts. I had all my sunnies here. You see, I still have like some of the kids, but I love them here. So I'm going to take them down and try each pair on and talk to you about it. Today, I really could enjoy and appreciate a good pair of designer sunglasses. I had quite a few pairs of Chanel. I feel like anytime I would go away somewhere on vacation, that was like my thing. I always wanted to bring home a pair of sunglasses, like special occasions. I, I still remember the pair that I bought in New York for my 30th birthday. I was there with my girlfriends and I still remember the pair. They were gray and they had like crystals on the side and I have no idea whatever happened to them. I know I didn't sell them. I feel like they just kind of got lost. I have no idea. But since then growing up, Amazon enters the chat and now so many of those designs and styles you can find at a fraction of the price. And also I lose them a lot and they break and they're just like thrown in my car and I'm not gonna lie, I don't take like the best care of them. I prefer to not have to be so delicate and careful. I'm like that with my handbags, but sunglasses, I just feel like you're out at the ball field, they're up on your head, they stretch out. So I, for a while now, have just gone to Amazon anytime I wanna find a good pair, especially like a good, like, look-alike version of a pair that I like a designer pair that I don't want to spend five or six hundred dollars on I do still have a few pairs of designers in my collection so I'm, I'm going to show you all of them but most of my collection is Amazon and I will link in the description box any of the ones that I can find that are still available some of these I've had forever but they're on Amazon so they'll probably be around forever so I'm just going to go in like no particular order Oh my God, and like some of them really need to be cleaned. This is like really embarrassing. Hold on. I probably should have cleaned them before starting this video. How embarrassing. Okay. So this first pair, I feel like I tend to go either black, brown, like tortoise, or a mirrored. So these are an Amazon pair. They might be a designer inspired piece. I don't know. You guys might know. They kind of have a unique shape to them. So they're like a square, but then like not a perfect square. And I love the black on black. And I actually first had these, the brown and gold, which are equally as dirty, filthy. And I love them so much that I ended up getting the black. So these are like, I don't know, $15, $20. I really... This is like so embarrassing, but let's keep it real here. These are usually just thrown in my car. I really don't even keep my sunglasses in cases anymore because I just feel like I switch them out every day. And so I'm just grabbing and going, which is why I resort to getting them on Amazon. Okay, this is another Amazon pair. And this is actually a more expensive pair. Probably the most I've paid for glasses in quite some time, but they're from Amazon. The brand is a brand I've never heard of before, Carrera. And Louis Vuitton makes a pair very similar to these. And depending on how active the listing is on Amazon, the price, price fluctuates. So I paid about 60, but um, when I share this and I see a lot of people are clicking on the link, I've seen it go all the way up to like 90, which I would still pay for these. They are really nice quality. I love the aviator shape, but I love this bridge across here and it's in the gold. These are just really chic. And I feel like of all the <clears throat> pairs that I wear, when, I'm, when I have them on and I'm talking on like Instagram stories, those are the ones that I get asked about the most, which is probably why the price fluctuates so much. Over the years, every time Nordstrom has an anniversary sale, I usually... If I like any of the designer ones, I'll pick them up. But a lot of times they also have key, 
which is a design like not a high-end designer it's a nice designer they make really great sunnies a huge variety of them they're like a flat top and I love the gradient this was probably up there with like my top three most shopped Nordstrom sale links two years ago when these launched I've had these for this is going on three years now they still have them exact pair but then key also has the same style in like five or six different colors color options so I love these but I really love the gradient effect that these have so many of you guys have these now I'm really not going in any particular order this is a designer pair and I literally just cleaned these at my parents today what the heck these are a designer pair I actually bought these from a consignment shop in Miami I'll link the consignment shop here they have everything from bags to sunglasses belts and clothes this is one of those pairs that I before I ordered them from there, I obviously got them like at a better price because they were, they're like pre-loved. Did look on Amazon and I couldn't find anything quite like them. They have a really cool, um, what do you call these? Arm here. And I really love that. And I love that they're like a mirrored cat eye. So these are the ones, my most recent pair. I will put the name of them because I actually had a follower like find them on Poshmark. I don't know what year they're from or like how old they are but I will put the link I'll put the name of them in the description box if you want to check Poshmark or eBay or wherever you shop for pre-love if you want the exact style I will also link a pair of Miu Miu that are very similar they're mirrored and like a cat eye and I will also link an Amazon pair that I found that are slightly similar they're mirrored and cat eye but also different they don't have this the Miu Miu pair has like a very similar arm there. These I think I've had since last year and another very popular one among my followers on Instagram. These are super fun. They're like an oversized square aviator and they have a gold frame and they're like a gradient brown which I love. These are really cool. Really really cool. Next up we have a Ray-Ban pair and these are very cool and I got these several years ago they're like a hexagonal style so clearly I have a thing for aviators but if I can find a pair that's not your traditional kind uh we go for them and these are green and gold they also did these in like a blue and gold but I love these they're a very lightweight like wired wired frame I've had to take these back to the sunglass hut a few times just to have them tighten them for me and they're great however these are Amazon. They are, I think, a little bit smaller, but they're also green and gold. It's like a slight difference in the green color, but they they have that hexagonal shape. So these are a really close look alike. These are one of my favorite pairs. There's a funny story behind this pair. So these are also key. <laughs> they're so filthy. I usually like clean them as I wear them and then I throw them back in my little like part in the car and okay so these I went on a trip out to LA with Dan a few years back and I did not bring one pair of sunglasses like who does that who goes out to California without a pair of sunglasses so the, the minute we got to our hotel it was by a Nordstrom I like hauled ass to the Nordstrom and I just wanted like any pair I wasn't even picky but I found these and I love these and I have since sold a ton of these through my link they're again by key they're kind of um they're gold and then they're tortoise around the bottom and then they're they're that gradient like I don't know if it kind of looks like navy but also maybe black but they're just really chic and I love that they're mixed metal so they just go with everything they're really, really pretty. These are a designer pair. These are YSL. I actually love that these are mirrored. I love the little logo here too, but these are a little too light for me. I don't reach for them as much because I feel like they're a little loose and they tend to fall off my face. They do still have these. I mean, the arm is like really thin. I just don't feel like they they look really good, but I just don't feel like they're a very secure fit. So I don't wear them as much. If you want a similar style, I believe these are Amazon as well, kind of similar. And I actually like see these feel secure. Like I could go on a ride at Disney and these aren't flying off my face. And they have that mirrored finish effect. However, they're a little bit more mirrored, more like my Dior ones, like a reflective mirror. Whereas these are a little bit darker. I really think I just need to get these like to be a little bit tighter those are all of my 
aviators. Let me go to my plastic frames. I have way more aviators than I do plastic frames because I just feel like they look better on me, but I do, I do like a plastic frame. These are an Amazon find. I believe these are a dupe for, I want to say Bottega. These were like all over Instagram last year. Everyone and their mother had them. So I fell into the influence and I got them and they have a really pointy fun little cat eye these also come in a tortoise as well I just feel like with my coloring my hair and skin the tortoise looks better unless I'm wearing like an all black outfit these are a cool vibe and speaking of that these are these are by I believe the brand is Les Specs look really high-end and designer but I want to say they're around $60 60 70 dollars but look a lot more expensive and these are like an oversized cat eye and then they have this gold along the top which is really fun I'm not loving these anymore might have to put these up on Poshmark too I did just put three or four three or four pairs up on my Poshmark recently which I'll link down below I think these are gonna join them <laughs> to be honest with you they're really beautiful they look really chic but I just don't love them on me I'd much I'm not going to reach for them. I'd much rather reach for a pair of my aviators. Okay, and then these were, there was a brand, some of you might remember from, if you're like an OG YouTube follower, there was a brand I partnered up with that had like designer sunglasses that you could rent, I want to say. And I remember you could like try them on and they had them at a discount and then you, so you could rent them. And then if you ended up wanting to keep them, you could buy them at a discount. And these came from that website. The brand is retro, the retro super future. These were my first flat top sunglasses, which are really super cool. And then since then I got the key ones, which I actually like the key ones better, but these are a vibe like I love these. I love a flat top, but they don't always look good on me. I really love these and like the black just really works. Do you see the difference between these frames and then the list specs? They're like not as dark and I just, those don't really work. There goes my garage. Okay. So I don't know if they still have these. I'm sure you could find a flat top plastic frame glass on Amazon though I will try to look for you and if I can find them I will have it linked in the description these are another Amazon pair these are fun they're a different shape they're kind of like that light brown um, almost like see-through plastic frame what do we think about these keep these or Poshmark them I don't know I kind of like them I like them but I feel like most of the sunnies that I have here, I feel like I could throw on with anything that I'm wearing and they all work. But some of them, like that pair and like the other black pair, like it depends on your outfit, you know? Three pairs I have are all Amazon. These are like cheapy, cheapy, but they're so fun. They're heart sunnies. And I have these for all different things. These are really fun. These are a cool vacation, like beach bag. Throw in your purse if they get like splashed in the pool or greasy fingers from your sunscreen not the end of the world but they're so fun i love the red ones too i always take the red ones with me to disney world to just go with my cute little mini mouse outfits i've also worn these on the fourth of july and memorial day they're just super fun and they have that like her heart obviously but it almost have like a nice exaggerated cat eye. save the best for last uh, these two I do keep in the case these are also designer these are Fendi and funny story about these so these were in the Nordstrom sale two or three years back and sold out super fast and I was so upset I think it was one of those situations where I ordered them and then they canceled from my order and I was so upset I think two years in a row they had them. Ended up getting them the following year and then all these Fendi pairs went up on Nordstrom Rack and I actually liked the size of this pair better than the ones that I got from the sale. So I ended up returning the Nordstrom sale ones and I kept the ones that I got on Nordstrom Rack. I love these. They're just a traditional classic cat eye, kind of oversized. And then they have like the Fendi 
uh, like monogram logos like embossed in the frames. I love the side. I believe these are a 52 millimeter. I could be wrong. They do have this style in different sizes from time to time. They had them on Nordstrom Rack for a while. They would like come and go and I would post every time and a lot of times they would sell out and then they would come back either in a smaller size or maybe without the logo on the side, but like with the logo, but different, not in gold. I don't know what the status of them is now, but I love these. If they come back into the Nordstrom sale, I would highly recommend them or just like keep checking Nordstrom Rack. But these are just a really good traditional plastic frame. That's so great. And then these also these are my one and only pair of chanel's that i have in my collection at the moment and these are really fun i don't have anything else like these and for as different as they are i will say that i have gotten a ton of wear out of these they come on every vacation with me most recently i brought them to miami every time i wear them people ask for them and i've had these now for three years i think it was funny, my friend Rachel was actually like in a Chanel boutique one time and she was like, they have those sunnies, I'm getting them, do you want them? And I was like, yes, she's like, they only have two pairs left. And that's how I snagged them because these were a hot commodity. And you know, with Chanel, you can't just go on the website and order them. But they're, they're white, they say Chanel on the side, and these are just so fun, like such a vibe. I love these in Miami. I feel like they're kind of retro pinup girl style. I just love these. I will forever have these in my collection. Um, they also had them in the same collection, released them in black, but I just love the white and they just brighten up your face. They're great for the summer. I love them so much. I love the case, it's like quilted. And so here we are with a Chanel pair. But like I said, I truthfully, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of Chanel sunglasses since these and over the years, and they just have to really be a special pair for me to invest in a designer pair of sunglasses because they're just, obviously I have a large collection. I want to continue <laughs> buying them when I see them and not feel guilty that I'm not wearing my, my designer ones. So I would much rather go the route of lookalikes on Amazon than investing and then feeling guilty that I'm not actually wearing those. So that's just my philosophy, but yeah. And that rounds out my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was super fun. I don't know if I've ever done a sunglass collection video before. Maybe I have, but if I have, it's been a really long time, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. I'll have those little shelves linked for you. Any of the sunglasses that I share that are still available or slash lookalike that I can find on Amazon. If you have questions about anything, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.